this next one, this one's quite a bit different than, than the others that we've seen. So let's take a look at that. Here we have, and this one's quite in, involved here. We've got 1 plus sine x over 1 minus sine x minus 1 minus sine x over 1 plus sine x and all of that, give myself some room here, all of that equals to 4 tangent x secant x. So if we can take a look at that second to the last step, that's 4 sine over cosine x times 1 over cosine. So that's our second to the last step. And what we want to do here is, you see how we have 1 minus sine x? And we've got our 1 plus sine x. Well, we don't have any plus or minuses in the denominator. So one thing we can do is we can do we can multiply the conjugate of the denominator. So the denominator here is 1 minus sine x, so the conjugate of that would be 1 plus sine x. So we're going to multiply 1 plus sine x over 1 plus sine x. And on this denominator, we have 1 plus sine x, so that's going to be 1 minus sine x over 1 minus sine x. And we're going to FOIL that. So we're going to FOIL all this. Okay, and same thing with the left side. Okay, well let's start with the numerator. Okay, here we have 1 times 1, right, is 1. 1 times sine x, that's plus sine x, right? And then sine x times 1, that's also sin, uh, st plus sine x. Well, I'm just going to make that 2 sine x. And then sine x times sine x, that'll be plus sine squared x over, and now let's look at the denominator. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times a negative sine x is a minus sine x. And then sine x times 1, that's plus sine x. So they're going to cancel. And then sine x times a negative sine x, that's a minus sine squared x. Okay, so these two, we're just going to go ahead and cancel them out. All right. Now let's take a look at this right side. We've got 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times sine x, negative sine x is a minus sine x. And then negative sine x times 1, that's minus sine x. So that's a minus 2 sine x. So we're just going to put a minus 2 sine x there. And then negative times negative is a positive. Sine times sine, that's sine squared x. And then we're going to get the same thing in the denominator. 1 minus sine x plus sine x minus sine squared x. Okay, so uh, what we have at this point is 1 plus 2 sine x plus sine squared x, and all of this, now I won't combine them yet, 1 minus sine squared x in the denominator, and this is going to be a minus, and then here we have 1 minus 2 sine x plus sine squared x over, and then again, the sine x and the minus sine x cancel, and we have 1 minus sine squared x. Well, let's see how we're doing in relation to what we're supposed to have. Okay, we know that we're supposed to have a cosine x in the denominator. 
right? So what do you think we can do with this 1 minus sine squared to change it to cosine? We can make it 1 minus sine squared x into cosine squared x. And so that's what we're going to do. Okay, so this will be 1 plus 2 sine x plus sine squared x over cosine squared x. Now you see this negative right here? Now if we change that minus sign to a positive, we have to dis and and distribute, we have to distribute this negative to everything in that numerator. So we're going to distribute that negative into everything in the numerator. So that's got, that one's going to be minus, the two sine x is going to be a plus, and the and that sine squared is going to x is going to be able to come a minus. Because we have to distribute that negative into everything in that right side. Okay? So this 1 minus sine squared, that's a common denominator, so we can put all of this under one thing. So this is going to become plus a negative 1, plus 2 sine x minus sine squared x. And <laughs> let's see, when we go to combine these, we've got a positive 1 and a negative 1, they cancel. But we got a 2 sine x plus 2 sine x and a plus 2 sine x. Well, guess what's going to happen there? That's going to be a 4 sine x, right? And the sine squared x, and plus positive sine squared x, and negative sine squared x, they cancel. So this is what we've got. We said we've got 2 sine x and 2 sine x, that's a 4. Sine x over cosine squared x. Well, sure enough, we've got our 4. We've got our 4 now. And so all we have to do is split what we have. So we've got sine x over cosine squared x, right? So, and if we could change that cosine to secant, we're done. So what we'll do is we'll change this cosine squared to 4 sine x. And then, you know, 1 times anything is just 1, right? And so we're going to change this cosine squared. We're going to put a cosine x times cosine x. Cosine times cosine is cosine squared. So, that's where we're going to get, and we know that sine over cosine is tangent, so this becomes 4 tangent x, and 1 over cosine is secant. And sure enough, that's what we wanted, 4 tangent x secant x.